25 years, more intimidating is here on more 94. Y'all know what it is, man. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry. Sometimes we just want to, no, no, we're not going to do that. Now We're not doing that at all. Y'all know that's the best music on the planet. That was Drizzy Drake alongside Lil Dirk. And right about now is one of my favorite times of the morning when I get to haul at my brother, Jerome Smith, who's representing for Sideline Sports ENT. We get to talk about sports, man. And it's going to be fun, definitely. So let me swing it to Romy right now. What's going on, my brother? What's good? Hey, good morning, man. Good morning, Bahamas. Good morning, Bahamas. This is Sideline Sports and Entertainment Bahamas, turning stories from the sidelines and headlines here only on 194 for 9FM. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on this lovely Tuesday morning. Going to hop into our sport report. We got some news from the local side of sports. Michael, so sorry, from the local, local side, side of sports. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, girl. Um, actually, our men's national team are getting ready or getting ready to play in the FIBA America Cup World Qualifiers. Um, that's actually going to be at the end of November. They have two games scheduled back to back: one against the U.S. on the 29th, and then they take on Puerto Rico on the 30th. Now, of course, the um, BBF president yesterday said um, because those games are not going to be played here, they're going to have to come up with about eighty thousand um, dollars. Eight zero. Yes, eight zero thousand. Wow. <laughs> um, wow. like they actually did. FIBA actually approached us and wanted to host a bubble type uh, tournament for about eight teams. But um, I guess being our way, we we didn't reply in time. So that offer is null and void. So they'll basically have to travel um, to see if they can get the job done. Um, there's also where's, some... where's the tournament going to be? Are, are um, you sure? No, they're not sure where they're going to host it right now. Um, okay. I guess okay. they were looking they were looking to have it here. But um, again, um, I think with this, the deadline was last week sometime, so they didn't get answers. So now they have to look someplace else. So, okay. um, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, man, um, actually, there are some talks. Um, they're trying to see who's going to be available because, you know, most of our European professional players, they're in their season right now. Um, there are some hopes that maybe DeAndre Ayton and Buddy Hill might be able to, might be available for it. And um, But we'll just kind of See what happens there. But um, but is a hundred million. But is a hundred million dollar <laughs> NBA player. Though. Can't take no chances getting injured. I, I mean, uh, I, I'm not even trying to death. I'm very uh, realistic. Like the Sacramento Kings might probably have a really big problem with that. Like the Olympics, I think they bend for. You know what I mean? Because it's the Olympics. But yeah, uh, I think any other organization or any other league, they probably be like, nah. Like, um, you know, they do kind of make concessions for FIBA, um, for the do? national, okay. yeah, for the national teams. Um, but again, yeah, the, that's the, risky the, still. Though. Yeah, if yeah. I was buddy, if I was buddy agent, I'd be like, all right, <laughs> nah. closer, coming closer to when you like, I guess, winding down in your career, then you could, you know, come in. Right. Uh, I ain't saying you, I ain't saying you completely washed up. I'm, I'm not saying wait till you washed up. I'm saying like once you're done, you know. You know, but you we, know, need you know, like, we need this win, man. We, we but do you think win. Buddy and DeAndre alone could get us that win? Is it worth the risk? Man, you know what? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, 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 think, I'm thinking like an agent right now, and I'm thinking for Buddy Pockets. Like, is it worth the risk, bro? Like, you know how hard he loves to play in order to bring the rest of the team up to a professional level like that. It, it'll be a little rough, bro. Hey, you know something? I you just reminded me. I I forgot. You you see why? I guess we have some respect for you as a manager. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah dollar, dollars and yeah. cents, bro. Yeah. <laughs> does it really? Does this really make sense right now? Like, no. All right, what else uh, well, going on, man? Yeah, well, now moving on to some international sports. I'm talking about basketball. Um, the Smith, the Smithsonian, they actually put Kobe's. 2008 number game five jersey on display um keep in mind kobe actually visited the smithsonian before that museum opened and actually that's the museum of african american history and culture so um again good looks for um uh, for the smithsonian and um yeah keeping Jer keeping kobe's um legacy alive as well um or we also got some news for our recap from monday night football uh so of course the first game was the kansas city chiefs taking on the buffalo bills the chiefs handled their business 26 to 17 was the final score there um Kenyon drake for the i'm sorry um and also the cardinals and the 
Dallas Cowboys got into it yesterday. The, Car the Cardinals coming out on top, 38 to 10 was the final score. And that's what I was going to say. Kenyon Drake for the Cardinals, man. He did his thing last night. 20 carries for 164 yards. Um, also got some news for uh, from the world of boxing. Gotta say congratulations. This is also um, actually the son of a personal friend of mine, man. Gotta say shouts out to the new light he heavyweight um the new lightweight champion, Timofeo Lopez, man. He had a big upset over Vasily Lomachenko over the weekend, and he actually became the youngest um, undisputed lightweight champion. Um, again, setting history, becoming the youngest champion to, to win four belts nice. or to, or to nice. hold the title for four belts. And then lastly, Major League Baseball, of course, the World Series starts tonight. And uh, actually, yeah, looking forward to that game. The game time will be at 8 o'clock. So it will be the Tampa Bay Rays taking on the LA Dodgers. Who you got for this series, man? I don't know. I told you, I, I don't know. I would, I mean, LA already have a big championship in their city. Tampa Bay looks like they're trying to head to one with Tom yeah. Brady. So mm -hmm. either way, I don't know. Do we, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which city deserves it most. Uh, I don't watch baseball enough to actually mm -hmm. say, okay, this team has a stronger team right, right. or a weaker team. I watch the game. I enjoy the game, but I, I, I don't watch it enough to say which one of those teams I, I think has a stronger lineup or a stronger uh, team. So I, I really don't know. All right. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of mixed myself because, you know, the Tampa Bay Rays, they beat the Yankees. But um, I, I don't know. And then I'm like, I'm kind of just like you. Hey, LA already have a championship. They just won. Like, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they don't need two big brothers. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll man, man. But as far as sports, this weather, that's definitely a wrap. Hey, all on you, man. Everybody stay safe. Mask up. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's Jerome right there representing for Sideline Sports ENT. Of course, you know how we can keep this party going with some more of the best music on the planet. This one is B-O-H, Bottle Overhead, where the beats is the best music on the planet. Good morning.